Hello, Mike Fitzpatrick here from Dealer Trend with tips and tricks. Here at Dealer Trend, our motto or slogan is market, measure, and optimize. Uh, market your dealership and your inventory, measure the results, and then make it better. All right, today I want to go over how to set up a Google Alert to monitor the noise on the internet about your, your dealership. Are, are people talking you know, bad about you? Are they um, unhappy with the service they got? Um, or are they talking good things? I mean, we want to know both ways and which sites they're, they're going to, um, which sites you can monitor. So Google Alerts is a great way to do this. And I use a, a, a little trick um, using the advanced search parameters to, to filter things out. Because I've noticed there's a lot of times there's you know, multiple dealerships with the same name. Uh, just in a different location. There may be certain things that keep coming across that, that I'm not interested in seeing. Uh, and, and once I set up the alert the first time, I can, I can continue to filter that out. So I'm going to start with an advanced search. So let's say I want to do a search for um, Nissan Bakersfield. And I, I've just done this, this search. I've got Nissan Bakersfield. I know this is what I want. I can kind of scan through here and see if there's anything I don't want to watch. Um, I can even scan through here and see if there's things that I want to watch specifically. Um, and under the advanced search, it gives you those options. So I'm going to click on advanced search and it'll carry over my search into this. This is what I'm building on here. Um, not all of these functions um, will actually create uh, a different search that I can use in, um, in Google Alerts, but this is a, a good start. So, so what I'm going to do, we've got Nissan Bakersfield. Um, let's say I want to remove things or have just a specific. If I want a, exact wording, this is where I'd put it. If I want to add a, additional words, this is where I put it. Let's say there's a Nissan Bakersfield in Texas, and I want to pull out... Um, Houston and Texas because those are the words that just keep coming up in my, my, my results and I want to remove those. I can do that. And you can see up top it actually put uh, little minus signs by those and now those are removed. I can also put in um, specific sites like this says uh, YouTube. Um, let's say I want to look at on, on YouTube.com for specific things if somebody put a video about me or if I want to watch my own videos I want to see how often they're going up if I've got somebody doing those for me um, and I want to pay attention to it I can actually track those kind of things too which is ideal it sends me an email every day now I know what's happening on the web um, so you can see that that built onto the URL if it doesn't by the way you just don't want to use it's just not a function that, that can be used other advanced search functions are down here um, you can actually look for price ranges, um, that kind of thing. You see that goes up on top. So say I'm, I'm looking for Nissan Altimals in a certain price range. I, I can monitor even my competitor sites. I can monitor autotradercars.com, see what's happening on those. A lot of functions on this um, that, that help you out. For right now, though, let's just do this. I'm going to copy that and open a new browser. Um, I'm going to just open up uh, Google again. Google.com. And we're going to do uh, Google Alerts. So, uh, Google Alerts. Once I'm here, I go to the very first one, of course. Um, set up an alert. I haven't set one up yet. If I had, actually, let's go to that field. Um, it's going to bring me here. Um, and it'll, it'll show me my current alerts. I can set up as many of these as I want. My search term, I'm going to paste right there as I copied it out of the advanced search. I can select things, um, what kind of sites I want to look at, how I want it delivered. For this case, it's going to be email, and it'll just go right to my Gmail account. If you don't have one, you're going to need to set it up for this. And then how often do I want to set it up? So that's it. Then you create your alert. Um, down the road, if you are finding that things are coming to that you don't want, just go in and delete it um, or filter it out using the advanced search function that I mentioned. Um, and you just do that with the edit. Thank you very much and have a great day. Hope this helps uh, sell cars and be profitable on the web.